Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Network. Today I begin a new series that might not even become something unless inspiration hits. I'm calling it Pokey Theory. Basically, as we lead into Sword and Shield and we get trailers, some theories might pop into my head of what the plot could be or whatnot. When it does hit, I'll make a video going over that theory and why I think the way I do. Keep in mind that it is all just a theory. It isn't a title for Arceus' sake. Today we are going to be looking over the champion of Galar, Leon, and how I truly believe he will be evil. Okay, maybe not evil, but a side antagonist. Let me explain. What we know about Leon, and really all the gym leaders in Galar, and I would guess Elite Four and Champion Battles, are all highly advertised, and they even have sponsors as you can see on the back of Leon's cape. This is very different from the past regions and how the gym leaders and even champions present themselves. In the past, Champion was a rival like Blue or Treyas, or a semi-established character that would pop up in the plot as an obvious, THIS IS THE CHAMPION moment. It does seem like Leon has taken a step further by being very popular and even getting hero worship by the people of Galar. And I think it goes to his head. He loves the attention, the power, the money I would assume. He loves living on a pillar above everyone else as the Pokemon Master of Galar. I feel he will play a big part of the plot. I mentioned earlier I don't think he'll be evil per se. Early on I foresee him being a huge supporter of you, the player, and his brother. Hop. I still can't get over that name. Considering his brother has a normal name like Leon. I'm getting sidetracked. And yes, a character name enrages me more than a tree. I have my priorities at least. As I was saying, early on Leon is excited for the energy the two of you have while starting your Pokemon journey. It reminds him of his youth and seeing his brother so energized and hopping about, yes I did that on purpose, makes him glow. He wants to see you both grow as trainers to provide him a challenge, but not too big of one of course. About a fourth or a third of a way through the game, you're able to show off some stellar skills as a trainer and not just wow Leon and everyone else, but worry him a bit. You have grown rapidly, much more than he ever did, but he brushes it off as just beginner's luck. As the plot continues, and in a twist, you get a chance to fight Leon in an exhibition match, televised. In true Pokemon fashion, you get the advantage and you start to win over your opponent. Even after Dynamaxing his Charizard, you are too powerful and the crowd is in awe as you are making Leon sweat. But something something plot happens during the battle. This part doesn't matter, but something interrupts the fight and the true winner could never be resolved. But Leon, hop, and you work together to take on Team, uh, what's a good name for the Galar region team? Team Cricket, I like it. Afterwards, people from the region state Leon was holding back on you, but not Chairman Rose. He saw how Leon was sweating and was being pushed to his limit as a trainer. Rose explains to him how important Leon's winning streak is, how he will lose sponsors or worse his championship title, that Galar needs him as a symbol. Chairman Rose doesn't give him advice other than to assure that he wins the next time you fight. Leon is left with a dilemma. He wants to win every battle. He has to win every battle. And he declares to himself that he will never be defeated, no matter the cost. Anyways, the central plot continues as Team Cricket, a name that is growing on me, is causing trouble. As I feel the role of champion and gym leaders will be increased, they are called to help out as you are already on the scene. Leon uses this chance. As chaos is happening and multiple Pokemon battles are ensuing, Leon sends one of his Pokemon to cause issues with your Dynamaxing during a Pokemon battle with a Team Cricket admin. He uses a new Psychic type, let's say. It makes the most sense. Your Pokemon goes crazy or something of the sort, almost attacking you, and Leon and his Charizard step in to save you and stop the Cricket admin. You're obviously shaken by the experience and Leon gives you some supporting words, but he is of course happy with the results. After more plot and you regaining your courage and heart as a trainer, you later discover something similar happened to Hop with Leon. Hop brushes it off as a coincidence and the journey continues. You arrive at the last gem. You are pumped to be so close to completing your journey, but Leon stops you before you can enter. He congratulates you on your efforts on getting 7 badges and getting so close, but he demands another exhibition match. You are given a choice to say yes or no in game, whose yes, Leon laughs and you both walk off to another location to battle. If you no know is chosen, Leon's composure changes and as champion he demands a battle. Either way, you must fight him. Don't you love choices that mean nothing in games? You two fight it out on the outside of the city where no one else can watch. This battle is different and Leon is stressed and puts everything he has into it. He is exhilarated, excited, but Rose's voice echoes in his head. I mean, I was the one who thought up big squeaky toys for cows. No, not that, Rose. Chairman Rose. Leon states he has to win this. He declares to you that he cannot lose for the sake of Galar. He reveals his trump card, something he has been holding back until now. He gigatamaxes his Charizard to a new form because Charizard is definitely the top five most profitable Pokemon. 
but you still prevail over the increased challenge and defeat Leon. In the aftermath, Leon is on his knees, cursing himself. Well, not real cursing, it is Pokemon. But talking to himself like it is over. His reign, his popularity, his sponsors. He calls himself nothing. Unknowing to him, Hop and potentially other side characters watch from a distance and approaches Leon and tells him he is not nothing. Why Hop? Because you are a silent protagonist. Everyone encourages Leon, explaining that winning is not everything and a trainer can learn more from losing at times than winning. And thanks to the power of the heart of the cards, Leon sees how he has been acting irrationally and apologizes for everything he has done to sabotage you. How quickly everyone forgives him for what he did. Eh, it's a Pokemon game, I can get behind it. Although he accepts the match as an official loss, it was not about for the championship title, and he says he will eagerly await to you at the Pokemon League for one final battle. And that is my theory on Leon for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Perhaps I'm hoping for too much, but I would love something like this where Leon is not evil, just used to being number one. I think I'm legally obligated to show this clip after saying that. We are number one! Leon wants to stay the champ and yes, goes to some extreme lengths, but is redeemed in the end. A fun character arc that would be something new and different from Pokemon. Thank you for joining me here at the Nintendo Network. What do you think of the Pokey Theory for Leon? Let me know in your comments below. If you like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and help me out on Patreon if you feel like it. Now if you'll excuse me, I think I need to make another Pokey Theory video. Like why is Hop called Hop?